Let's get those tents in. Okay, so one thing I've been looking at is the siren thing. So I'll explain what the siren actually is and why it's useful. Uh, it says alarm that calls monsters and that's uh, underselling how important it is. Basically, what it does is it automatically puts you into an encounter with the rarest enemy group in that particular room or area, which is really cool. I mean, when you're looking to farm something, let's say, of course, sometimes you have an encounter that appears one in every 32 or something. And even getting that encounter to trigger is a pain in the ass. But with Siren, you can automatically encounter the rarest thing. So let's say you need to steal something or there's a drop that only comes from the rarest monster in an area, you can use Sirens in order to, to trigger them. And that's why it's good to have a whole bunch of them. Now, one thing I've heard is, let's say you're farming for something very rare, maybe just have like 30 of them, 50 of them, something like that, and then uh, you're able to... And if you don't get what you want, just reset, basically. So I'm not going to get to like 50 or something, but because you can steal repeatedly, I think especially while I'm here, I'm just going to steal maybe like 30, 40 of them, and then proceed onwards. So I'm not going to... I don't think I'm really going to kill anything. Um, I'll probably just steal them and then run, because I'm pretty sure they stay in your inventory anyway. So I'm going to farm some sirens, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so honestly, it was so easy to steal, and I got in a bit of a groove that I don't know how many I have now. I have 40. Okay, perfect. Between 40 and 50. Honestly, that really didn't take any time at all. It was like 10 minutes or something? 8, 10 minutes? So, totally fine. Clockwork Dragon? What the hell? I was literally just about to get out of here, and the random Clockwork Dragon just rolled up. Okay, well, this thing's serious. Okay, I guess we've got like another mini boss battle on our hands here. Let's be careful. 18,000. No weaknesses, of course. You know how it is. But can you handle Blizzarga? Tell me that. I mean, my assumption is that it has a nice deal, but... Yeah, we got lucky stealing all the sirens. Now we're not going to be able to steal anything. It's probably a high level enemy. Uh, definitely higher than Edge, so we're back to 5% steal rate, I think. Oof. Ah, so it counters pretty nicely. I'll check in the best tree later if it does have a very good steal. I guess it's one of these things where maybe this is the rarest enemy here. And then you can use a siren to farm it if you ever needed to. Oof. Even in the back row. Very solid damage. Fair play. I mean, I'm going to head back towards the, the save anyway, so... I am spamming some MP here. Yeah, it's nice to see Cecil taking notably less damage as well. I kept his uh, flame shield or whatever, the ice shield, sorry. My guess is you could probably osmos this one too. Still going. Wow. Sure it's gonna die soon. Wow. Okay, fine. Um Rosa might <laughs> end up dying here actually. She made it.
I'll have Radio deal the final blow because I'm pretty sure the next spell should kill it. Then again, we'll just let him do it. Let the old man take care of business. Rosa might be dead here. Oof, 435. 435. So let's have a quick look at what this Clockwork Dragon has to offer. I would have thought I got I would have got some kind of drop, but ah, oh, they drop gold hairpins and gold apples. Uh... Man, what I wouldn't give for a gold hairpin, but honestly, I've had my I've had my brilliant luck with um, with the ribbon, so obviously I can't complain. But doesn't mean it wouldn't be nice. Okay, so now I think I can just save up. I'm going to run from everything unless it's another Clockwork Dragon here. Including this guy. <laughs> okay. Too much momentum and I got back attacked. Uh, screw you, game. Sorry, radio. Okay. Let's try this again. So on with 40 sirens this time. I guess if there is something specific I want that I can't get, I can always reset, maybe. I can't bother to sit here and try and farm like 99 of them. Or even go beyond 99, I guess. Right, how are we doing? Yeah, pretty much ready. Okay. So I'll continue for a little longer, and then I'll wrap things up here. 250,000 gil. There's, there needs to be like a new shop. I have been saying that the equipment is a little bit slacking. I do want like one or two more shops that have some good equipment. Right. Hmm. Back attack clock work dragon. So this time no mercy. I'm just gonna give it everything I got. Try and take it out ASAP. Uh, now that counter attack is harsh, so I'm going to try to get my mages to maybe deal with it. And to be honest, I'm, I should probably get... Hmm, let me try and slow it. It has no weaknesses, but it's one of these where it's like it's a fire breathing dragon, so I'm just going to use Blizzard anyway. I mean, it is quick. to try and make this the Rydia show. To be honest, I think MP-wise, maybe it's better. But if it's immune to death, I think it doesn't work. So it's not a smart move. Yeah, I have a feeling if it has a death immunity, it just this just fails. But. Okay. No drop again. Um. Okay. Damn man, I almost have less than 99 high potions. Can you believe it? I'm 
just going to get out of that. Right, Giant's Control Core. So this is the core of the Giant. This is its CPU. Whoa. We have to destroy the defense node first, because it can heal the CPU. Sure. Alright, let's do it. Attack node, defense node. I don't know which one's which. Sorry, that was a wrong one that I attacked there, but... Wow, it heals so regularly as well. I'm impressed. Laser barrage. Ooh. Okay. I think the reflect was only against um, itself, right? Yeah. So we still use some good old bio. so bad. Well. Wow. Uh. Oh, right. Okay, it's one of those kind of guys. Very well. I mean, there's nothing we can do to protect against that, so... Um, I'll put Reflect on... I mean, we can use Dispel and stuff, but... Ah, of course it's the guy that... It's the guy with the Reflect. Um... I might have to see if Dispel works. Then again, I don't think Reflect can be Dispelled in this game. <laughs> He'll try. He'll always try. Regenerate, huh? Okay. That's not good. That's not good at all. Thankfully, they don't have a lot of health here, so maybe if I leave the attack one alive, the, the other doesn't regenerate, possibly. Wait, he still has Reflect even though he died? Oh, it's one of those stupid things. Damn it. Okay, fine. I guess that kind of works in our favor, ultimately. Try some of this and see what happens. Laser barrage doesn't hurt that much, so I'm considering leaving it there, but of course it's going to absorb some of the hits. There you go. That's working. Um. Let's summon something. It's, uh, it's a proper boss battle, so why not? At least we can get Cecil a bit of health back as well. Slow seems to work almost all the time, which is impressive. At least we can survive an extra couple of laser barrages now. Again, stuff that it can't block with Reflect. Always useful.
Okay, going well so far. Uh... Ah, his reflect ran out. I forgot. I didn't realize that. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. Fine. But his reflect might have run out too. I should probably see this in action. It, it hasn't run out. Okay. So we're still managing fine. At least the bounce spells tend to seem to be hitting the CPU instead of the attack node. And the healing one hasn't regenerated, by the way. Okay, not doing fantastic damage there. He should just attack the CPU, to be honest. I've got to try a holy. There's much else to do. Ah, okay, we hit that one. Now they're going to regenerate. Fine. Let's give it everything we got. Yeah, and that's when it starts to use that as well, once everything's gone, so... Yeah, I took a risk there, but... And my ability to summon Leviathan is gone. I will give him an ether. Don't want to take too many big risks here. Yeah, that one holy hitting the attack node instead kind of messed things up. Yeah, so we deserve that. We, we gave away a heal that we shouldn't have. Uh... I can't tell if he still has Reflect or not at this stage. Yeah, so we're giving away two heals here. Disappointing. But we know what we're doing now. Not going to let it happen again. Unfortunately, I can't use it on just one of them. So I'm just going to attack for that reason. We've got 6,000 damage to wipe off first. I'm not sure if my reflector's stuck still. Because he's not glowing any other color, so I can't really tell at this stage. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Um, that reflector's gone. Hopefully, Rydia really gets in quick enough here. Ah, that's not fair. Rydia, you... Rydia had the spell first, man. Come on. There's no way. Does it, does it hit everyone? I might have game over myself here. Oof. That's not fair. That was some unlucky timing. Anyway, at this stage, it's still not really an issue. I'm just going to keep chipping away at the damage here. Uh, I 
again, bad timing. Couldn't save her. And I think we can start getting Cecil on Edge to start attacking the CPU. Yeah, they won't survive that long. Honestly, for him, I'm not going to use anything else right now. Um, his MP is not great. Honestly, I think Sylph is a good summon here because I can target one specifically and Reflect becomes irrelevant too. Like all the other summons, I think they, they hit um, they hit multiple enemies. This is the only one I can focus in on. So I mean it means like the three characters do about 5,000 damage with their attacks and that's plenty good enough. I do want to see if I can Osmos a little one. Would be a nice bonus if we could. Nice, okay. Noted. Yeah, these guys, they all hit multiple enemies, so it's just not worth it. So Sylph is nice. I mean, I didn't think I'd really be using Sylph, but this is cool. It's a free heal on Cecil as well, who's got the Reflect. It seems to work every time as well, so... Good enough for me. There you go. No regeneration for you, dear. Now, I do wonder, is there a small chance I could be facing something... I could be facing something else? If there is, I'm just going to try an Osmos again. I'd like Rydia to get an Osmos too. Hopefully there's some MP left for her too. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to toy with this one here and just get back my stuff. Um, so with him I can just use a Curage and then Osmos it back. Because it has such little HP, when I'm ready to kill it, it will die in seconds. So just get these two Osmoses in as well, and then we can finish it off. Just in case something else springs out. 39, okay, fine. I think we have drained it now. Come on, old man.
Yeah, okay. It is drained now. Done. No drops. Alright. We stopped it. Why, you... There he is. How dare you destroy the giant! You... Do I know you? You have to look deep inside yourself. You have to realize who you really are. Stop it! You must wake up! Whoa! What came over me? Why was I filled with so much hatred? You have regained your true self, then. Do you remember your father's name? My father? His name was Kluyo. Oh, man! So, right at the start of the game, I threw out a very speculative... It was like 80% just kind of totally just thrown out there for kicks. And I said, I wonder if Golbez is like Cecil's dad. I was close enough. <laughs> it's his brother. What? Then you must be Cecil's... You two are brothers? My brother? You were Zemus's puppet in his plan. He was using you with his hypnotic powers. You were chosen because you have the blood of Cluya, a Lunarian, coursing through you. That bond made it easier for you to be controlled. But to make you fight against your own flesh and blood... We get it, old man. I was fighting against my own brother? All of this hate is against my own flesh and blood? Then you're... I wonder why you were chosen. It easily could have been me, as I also have Lunarian blood. I was chosen because of the seeds of evil that lay inside me. Zima saw that evil, and he helped it grow. Where are you going? To find Zemus. I'll settle this. Wait! I, too, am a Lunarian, just like Zemus. I will join you. Goodbye, Cecil. Damn. Is this what you want, Cecil? Cecil? Golbez may never come back. You know that, right? Aren't you going to do anything? He's your brother. My brother? Yes! We might be in trouble. We have to get out of here. Cecil! What are you doing? We need to find a way out. This way. Oh my god, cave! Oh no, we're not falling for that again. You can doubt me later. If you don't want to die in here, then just follow me for now. Well, there's a turn up for the books. Hurry! I was finally able to regain my true self. 
I don't expect you to forgive me, after all that I've done, but... Of course we're not going to forgive you. The giant was practically your doing. Stop it. Rosa. It's not Kane's fault. You saw how Zemus had control even over Golbez. Golbez too? Does that mean that Kane has the clue of your blood too? Are the three of them brothers then? Why does he have so much control over Kane? Golbez is... Cecil's older brother. A Lunarian named Zemus was controlling him, using the Lunarian blood he carries. Golbez and Fasoya went to the moon to destroy Zemus. Golbez is Cecil's brother. <laughs> then I too should follow them to give Zemus what he deserves. I hope you don't end up betraying us again. If that happens, then you should cut me down without hesitation. I'll go too. I want to give this guy a piece of my mind. Edge. I'll go. I'll go too. To the moon. Cecil. Rosa, Rydia, you two stay here. The three of us will go. Oh, what the hell? Come on, man. We need mages. Are you kidding me? I can't put you in this kind of danger. Oh, of course. But Cecil, that's not fair. Please, you have to get off the lunar whale. What? No. Cecil, you dumbass. You kids won't be much help anyway. Who are you calling kids? Just stay put, okay? Cecil. Kane, Edge. Wow, okay, I did not expect them to actually do that. <laughs> I thought they would be like, absolutely not. So I guess that means Golbez and, um, and Fasoya are going to rejoin our party, probably. We're going to have a party of... We're going to have a sausage fest party. That is so weird. Let's go! <laughs> okay. Rosa! Get out of the way, Rosa. No! You have to take me with you. Otherwise, I'm not moving. There you go. Why are you doing this? I want to be with you. I don't care what happens, as long as I'm with you. Rosa. I guess we have no choice. Well, aren't you a ladies' man? All right. Rosa, I'll protect you with my life. It worked. <laughs> what? You? I told you before that this was everyone's war. Besides, I'm the only one who can summon Eidolons to help us. Rydia, you too? Fine, let's all go. After all, this is everyone's battle. There we go. None of this this is my story business. This is our story. You may now change party members at the Hall of Prayer in Mycidia. Oh. That's interesting. So we're going to end up having more than five characters for the first time. Well then. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way they're going to let you do that. I mean, either... For Sawyer is going to join and Golbez is going to be a party member too and it's going to be some sausage party or they're not going to let you do that. Well then, that was an interesting chain of events right there. Um, Kane has come back yet again. Now, honestly, at this stage, Kane's kind of annoying. His flip-flopping is, rather than it being cool and unpredictable and exciting, it, it's starting to annoy me a little bit, I can't lie. 
Um, the last time he went was so arbitrary, like, okay, he seemed like he was being controlled, but then he was like, oh, I'm fine, uh, don't worry, I'm, I, I've, like, I'm my true self, and then he still went anyway, and now he's come back for the second time, and he's like, please forgive me this time. Yeah, it, it's a little bit much for me. So there's a ton of chopping and changing. Um, <laughs> Palom and Porum have come back too, and we didn't even really get to see them properly, which was kind of lame. Um, at this stage, I don't even know if I can go back to the world. I assume I can go back to the world if I want. Um, I can change party members at the Hall of Prayer in my city. That's something I definitely want to check out. Because, um, I mean, there's now Palom and Porum are around. Uh, Sid's around, Yang's around, and we've still got Fasoya and Golbez up ahead. So, this is like a, a giant party, potentially. So, I, I really don't know. It's definitely a much bigger cast than I expected. And given how Final Fantasy V was, this is mu much more like Final Fantasy VI, where the cast is pretty huge. And there's a lot of people kind of chopping and changing, which, like I say, it's, it has its positives and its negatives. But... I'm glad we made it this far, and we do um, still have a full party. But in terms of who comes and who goes, it's, it's the most unpredictable Final Fantasy I've, I've ever played by quite some margin. I genuinely can't tell who's coming and who's going most of the time. Because <laughs> there's people that are dying, being revived, there's double crossing, and then they come back to us again, and then they uh, bail on us a second time, then they come back again, and it's just like, what the hell's going on? So, honestly, now that Golbez is Cecil's brother, it's like he, even Golbez could be a party member at some point during this this run. So it's all happening, and it's 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 definitely interesting, and it's definitely uh, cool and unpredictable too. There's definitely positive elements to it, but it's, it, it is also pretty insane. So I'm gonna save here. Um, I think at the start of the next session, I'll probably go try to go back to the world and see what the deal is with this like party members and stuff. Maybe I can reunite with some of them and kind of see what the deal is. And then I'll continue on and see what waits up ahead. Because, I mean, at this stage, this sort of feels like the stage where you have the airship. You can kind of do everything that you want to do. And if you proceed forward, you're going to start going towards the final few hours of the game and complete things. So I think I'm at that point, but I'll probably do some checks to find out what the deal is. But I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching. Take care.